mother's wedding day. Well, at least the day she's celebrating her wedding. I see you skinny slacks. Woo! Point there, hold up, boy. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, hold up. Got the back to Africa button down. I see you. Dwayne Gay. <laughs> Purple ring. I see you, girl. I'm gonna need some of that. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, so it's snowing up in here now, huh? <laughs> can I go up? Can I get some flowers? Can I, can I get some flowers? Okay, I see. Hey, your mama said, what's up? Okay. Oh, it's going down. It smell like wings up in here. Now, really? Oh, they can't be serious. They cannot be serious. Ain't no water in the pool. It's the happiest day I can remember. My mother and her longtime boyfriend, Edgar Allen Jackson. I see you, boy. That boy looking like the first day of school clean, huh? What's up, Earl? I see you did it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Now, you know we thought you was ever going to do it, right? Yeah, well, you did. But I'm saying, we thought you was never going to do it. I mean, y'all done had babies. Brandon's 13. Jacob's 11 now, right? He finally did it. He married her. No one in the family ever thought he would marry her. My grandmother said, why buy the cow when the milk is free? My mother said, men these days aren't buying cows anyway. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia? Uncle Cynthia? Earl is my mother's older brother. Back when he was doing whatever it was that he was doing, he would always give her money. Now that he's broke, he expects her to help him out. He lives with my grandmother. A walking cliche. Hey, come on, I'm here, ain't I? Yes, you are. <laughs> Let me hold it something. I am celebrating my wedding today. I'm here, ain't I? I can't. Oh, so it's like that now, Cynthia? Mm -hmm. It wasn't like that when you wanted that Hello Kitty back in the day, now was it? Hot wings! <laughs> Why are your parents bothered to get married anyway? You're supposed to get married. Yeah, you're supposed to get married. That's who? You just are. Says who? Says Jesus, that's who. Brandon and Jacob are my little brothers, Edgar's sons. My dad. I won't. Well, that's another story for another day. Sometimes kids can be so cruel, but they also see the world in simple black and white. That's how my grandmother sees it. She's not here. She's never around when they're smoking, drinking, or cussing. She don't play that. She says it grates on her spirit. She never approved of Edgar and my mom's living arrangements, which is why we're not that close anymore. But she was always there when my mother needed her. 
Today, Grandma Margie is at a revival. Baby. <laughs> you look so pretty. Oh, girl. Thank you, baby. Are you having a good time? I am. I am. I'm just ready for all these people to get out of my house. <laughs> I'm so proud of my mother. She's getting herself on track after a few rough years. She's got a good job. She's making good decisions. Minus Edgar, of course. This is the last time I remember us truly happy. <laughs> on that day, we felt like a family. Yes. Mm -hmm. Same address. OK, thank you. What's going on? <laughs> Come on, baby. They were just playing. Where's dinner at? Oh, I just ordered some pizza. What am I going to do with some pizza? What? I'm just getting home from work myself, honey. OK, you couldn't have put something in a crock pot this morning? But you couldn't put nothing in the crock pot this morning? Never mind, don't no, matter. It does matter. No, it doesn't. It does. Say it. Kimberly, take the boys upstairs until the pizza gets here. Yes, ma'am. OK, Edgar, look, I work just like you do. Now, we're supposed to be equal partners in this. Yeah, partners got responsibilities to each other. Where they at? But I can't get a night off. A night off? You barely got a night on. You do what you feel like doing around here. That is not true. It's absolutely true. Now look, Edgar I'm wasn't always this way. He's different when he's drinking, do. but then again, so was my mom. They've been on and off again for like 14 years. Now that they're finally married, I don't know if they're better now or worse. Say it. I see you want to say it. Say it. Okay, I dare I you to say it. Just tired of us arguing. Okay, can we just try and talk without yelling and screaming? Look, can we just do that, look, please? Look, there's nothing to talk about, okay? I know exactly where I can go get a hot meal. I'll Edgar, wait, please, honey, come on. Can we just talk about it? Edgar! I know, right? Are you sure you love me? <laughs> hey, let me call you back. I'm gonna check on my mom real quick. Mama. 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 Hey, baby. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine, baby. You just worry too much. You don't seem fine. <sighs> You're drinking again. <laughs> Grandma says, when it hops like a rabbit and eats carrots, don't let a fool convince you it's a fish. Mm -hmm. So what, you calling me a fool? No. I'm just saying, I'm not a little girl anymore. You can be honest with me. I know you're not happy, Mom. Why don't you just leave? It doesn't have to be like this. Shh. Maybe won't you clean up all of this mess? Because I don't want your brothers to see it when they get up, okay? Don't you look handsome? Why do we have to dress up? Nobody dresses up for church anymore. Well, we do. 
It's how I was raised and it's how I am raising you. It's the way we honor God by showing him an effort to look respectable. Now, I would not just show up to my office in jeans, all right? And your grandmother always said, what? That God deserves our best effort. Come on, let's go. Is Daddy coming? <clears throat> you know what? Why don't you guys just go and wait in the car, okay? I'll be right out. Hey, you coming to church? Nope. It really mean a lot to me if you came, Edgar. I don't like the way things are between us right now, honey. Got fired Friday. What? Do is sit here. Watch Ben. every time we come here. My friend Renee's church is huge. It's cool and they even let you wear jeans and text during service. I think my grandmother would literally cut my hands off if I pulled my phone out in a service.
my granddaughter, Kimberly. Of course I do. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, sir. It's <laughs> so polite. I know that Mother Margie and your mom has been doing an excellent job raising you. <laughs> well, I'm hoping she'll join the young missionaries in the fall after school starts. Uh, I think that'd be wonderful. <laughs> you know, your grandmother tells me often, there's a calling on your life. Today wasn't so bad. It's like God knew we were going to need all the help we could get for what was going to happen next. Like you're just gonna judge me. Don't judge me. You know, your mama, she's crazy. What do you want to look crazy? Look at her. She's. But, she, you know what? I'm not letting her leave, though. <laughs> Never. You know why? Because she said I do. And I do. It's forever. You should learn that when you're older. There's no outs. And there's no exits. And there's no outs. Yeah, I need to take your brothers and go down to the car. Come mm -hmm. down. Hey, hey, back up, back up. Oh, whoa, whoa, go, whoa. Whoa, back whoa. Wait, wait, whoa. You're not going nowhere. No, you're not going nowhere. Where are you going? Hey, move, hey, move. hey. Move, move, you're drunk. You will not keep my children from me. So come here. Edgar, move! Move, move. Move, move. Go, oh, God. Go, go, baby. Go. Go, 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 Love you, okay? Oh, oh. Really? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go away for a little while, okay? What? I need what? you to look after your brothers. What? Where are you going, Mom? Just I just need you to stay here with your grandmother, okay? It's just for a little while, baby. All right? Just so Edgar can have some time to get his. Edgar, yeah. you're going back to him? Don't wait over there for me. You're going back to your mom? You don't, don't. Ugh. Baby, just go inside. <gasps> please, oh, please, Kimberly, just go. go. Just go. Here, baby. Please, just go. Go. Go, Nia. Cynthia? Cynthia! Cynthia! Cynthia, you hear me? Oh, God. Hey! Uh, everything okay? Oh, 
child. We can talk about that in the morning. Right now, I got to get these kids settled. Okay, um, Kimberly, you and Marilyn can share a room, and uh, Brandon and Jacob, you can share Isaac's room. Uh, can they all share Isaac's room, where they can sleep on the couch or on the floor? I just told them where they're going to sleep. Roll your eyes at me again, and I will snatch them out their sockets. Chloe, take these boys up to Isaac's room. Your room is two doors on the right. Mm-hmm. Cynthia just dropped all them kids off at the door. Let's get you some tea. <sighs> Lord. This used to be your mother's room, you know. I'd come in here and pray with her every night before she went to sleep. Oh, she was a scary little thing. Always seeing something in the shadows. But now you, you're stronger than even you know. Baby, this too is gonna pass. Grandma? Yes, baby. Never mind. I'm sorry. Never mind. All right, then. I'm going to bed. <laughs> You're not allowed to be in the refrigerator without permission. I'm hungry, Maryland. Mm. There's a lot you don't know about living here. I know my grandmother's rules. Well, did you know that there's an 8 p.m. curfew? No secular music of any kind allowed. No reality TV, no cable, and no radio. What do you want, Maryland? Nothing. I'm just running the rules by you. I feel like you have a problem with me. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I mean. It's not you personally. It's just we're already living on top of each other around here. <sighs> Believe me, I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. Mm. Chloe's getting big, though. Your mom looks like she's been drinking again. What? Well, I saw her outside. She looked a hot mess. That's none of your business. Who did? Well, if you ask me, it's completely dysfunctional. OK, but nobody asked you. And it's no more dysfunctional than you having a kid at 14 after three abortions. Oh, yeah, well, at least I know who I am. OK. 
Okay, when are you gonna realize that your mother is an alcoholic? <sighs> right. Oh! Yes! Don't talk about my mom! Get off of me! Get off of me! Wait, 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 Young lady, I don't allow for no chaos in my house. I can't stay in the same room as that. You can and you will. And don't you ever fix your mouth to tell me what you will and will not do. Now you listen, I know you upset, but you take a minute, all right? Get yourself together. Go on and go to bed. Everything is gonna be better in the morning. Come here. Don't let Marilyn get under your skin. People that are mad at the world, they're just looking for somebody to take it out on. Okay? Hey. Okay? Come on, it's gonna be okay. Let's try to get some sleep. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? You need to get up. What time is it? It's 6.30. Still don't know how to cook? No, not really. All right. Well, then you can do the dishes. OK. Have a good day, Lenny. You too. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Where's my grandma? Where she is every morning, down at the church feeding the homeless. Do you ever go? Ew. Of course not. What are you doing? Uh, training. Um, I'm Isaac. Oh, can't really. Nice to meet you. You mind? Sure. Thanks. Oh, sorry I didn't say hey to you when I saw you at church. Uh, that's okay. How are you related to my grandmother? Oh, I'm not. No, she, uh, she used to work with my mom when she was a nurse. Mm. Yeah, she died last year. Cancer. Mama Marjorie said I could stay with her and finish high school. If it wasn't for her, I never would have graduated. Well, what are you training for? Oh, uh, college. I mean, that's the hope. If not that, well, then the Arena League. Yeah, I've been playing my whole life. Mm. It was all state, too, before I got in some trouble. What kind of trouble? You know, I was just hanging out with some guys from the neighborhood. You know, you ask a lot of questions. I guess I'm the curious type. I don't know. I got a question. <laughs> when you out here running in the streets with these little dudes, is, is y'all, like, pretending to be gangsters, or is y'all, like, really gangsters? <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Uncle Earl. No, I'm saying it's like nowadays y'all harder online 
than in real life. No. I call them Twitter gangsters. <laughs> Facebook heathens. Oh. I mean, they even banging on Instagram now. <laughs> Hashtag you gonna die. Double gun <laughs> emoji sin. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, back in my day, we really ran these streets. It's like, y'all run the Halo world. It's, it's like y'all thugging in Minecraft. Uncle Earl, <laughs> what are you talking about? I just don't understand. Keep your head up, homie. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm curious, too. Breakfast is ready. And you can come in here and bust these sets. What is her problem? Which one? <laughs> I'll see you this eye. Okay. Uncle Earl, are you eating? Real men don't eat breakfast. Cynthia? Cynthia? job I've been calling over here all day. Cynthia! Oh, now you better stop this mess. Mama, just leave me alone. Child, you have got to shake yourself loose from this thing. I can't, Mama. Yes, you can. Now, God is not going to let you fail if you don't let you fail. You stop this. You think about your children. The neighbors called Child Protective Services. They're trying to take my children away from me, Mom. Mama, don't let them take my kids away. I just need a little bit more time, that's all. I just need a little bit more time. Get up. Well, how did it go down at the store, the interview? Mama, ain't nobody hiring a felon. Oh, now who are you to say what God will and won't do? I'm the unemployed broker. It's gonna get better. <laughs> Remember what you used to say? It gets better when you make it better. Have you seen my mom? Yeah, baby, I saw her. Can I see her? Earl. Kimberly. Your mother needs some time, and we are going to give her that. Now, go on in the house. Let me tell you about Jesus. Help me. Let me tell you about Jesus. Help me. Let me tell you about Jesus. Help me. Help me. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah. Hey, let me tell you about Jesus. Help me. Let me, let me, let Jesus. Help me. Let me tell Jesus, help me, help me, help me. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? We're all right, I guess. Well, you look a little bored to me. Yeah. Hey, do you have any video games? Ah, uh, no. Uh, Mama Margie, she doesn't allow video games in the house. And she believes it warps the mind. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Wait here one more. You ever played before? Of course. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Jacob, you got next. All right. Let's see what you got, little man. I'll school you. <laughs> OK. What color? Black. Black? Yes, ma'am. Melon said you still don't know how to cook. I know how to cook. I'm just not that good at it. All right, then. Wash your hands. I want you to take this corn and shuck it. Do what with it? I want you to shuck it. Just pull this off of it, all right? Then you're going to grab the knife and cut all the niblets off it. Cut the niblets off? Mm-hmm. Just put. Oh, OK, baby. You just have to get around. Go right behind the meat, all right? OK. All right, then. Like this? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's, that's how you do it. This is a lot harder than I thought it was in my mind. Well, everything is hard until you learn how to do it. <laughs> do I got to do all of these? Well, honey, they not go shuck themselves. <laughs> Ooh, chicken smelling good. You know, taking care of a family starts with taking care of their bellies. Mm -hmm. Someday you're going to have a, your own husband. And if he's a real man, he's going to expect a good meal. OK, Grandma, not everybody stays home and cooks. Who said anything about staying home? A virtuous woman can do it all because God has given her the strength to get it done. And you just have to tap into it. And what if my husband wants to do the cooking? He can cook, but that's not his job. His job is to provide, protect, and lead his family. And if he doesn't do his job? Well, <laughs> that means you picked the wrong man. <laughs> and who, when you get the wrong one, who you can, takes a whole heap of helping and praying to get him on the right track. <laughs> well, Mama said Grandpa used to cook a lot when he was alive. Oh. Your grandfather died when your mother was very young. But he was the hardest working man I knew. He knew how to cook about three meals, some barbecue. Oh, he, he made a mean fried chicken and spaghetti. <laughs> that must be what she remembers. OK. All good. right, that's good. That's very good. We're going to fry that corn up, and then we're going to mash potatoes. So I want you to skin all those potatoes. OK. Huh? OK, so get to it. You got to peel all those potatoes and shuck all this corn. All right, so. Hey. Hey, girl. I oh. miss you so much. I know. <laughs> Things are so messed up. You talk to your mom? No, I haven't talked to her yet. Yo, your mom's a gangster, huh? That is not funny. <laughs> Look, I'm just playing with you. Hey, you know I care about you, right? Come here. Royce. Uh... Come on, girl. A man has needs. Look, when I'm gonna spend some time with you? Like, you've been playing. I don't Cameron. know. Yes, ma'am? We don't entertain uninvited guests. I invited him. What's your name, son? How you doing? I'm, I'm Royce Carter. Nice. Are you here trying to have sex with my granddaughter? No, 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 I'm not. No, 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 we're not trying to do nothing. I'm just Because saying. her body is a temple and she's saving it for Jesus. Now, Royce, if you ever come around here again, I want you to make sure that Kimberly has cleared it with me. No, I just died. No, that. I'm not asking you to think. I'm asking you to make sure. 
Now, am I clear? Yeah. Good. Kimberly, say good night. Coming over here all times of night, leaving the front am, door open. I am so sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll call you later. Yeah, call me. Jesus, how many times I have to tell you, don't take the Lord's name in vain. Look at you. You dress like a prostitute peddling tricks. What do you think's gonna happen? You got to have more respect for yourself. Roll them again. But I didn't even... I... Get dressed. Come on down and help me finish dinner. Are you okay? Yes. No. I don't really know what okay is supposed to feel like right now. Yeah, I know that feeling. You know, the worst part is being on the edge of okay. I mean, it feels so close, but it's miles and miles away. I just really miss my mom. I understand that. Kimberly, you want to go inside the house with me? Snoopy? Q, Grass. Yo, who was that? Yeah, who is that, P? Uh, there's no one. She just staying with us for a minute. Introduce me. Now, shut up, fool. Ain't nobody introducing you. If he introduces anybody, it's gonna be me. You know, whatever. Are you still trying to do that college thing? Yeah, man, I'm still waiting to hear from USC. You can make a lot of money without letting that school pimp you out on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. See, they making millions. And you getting paid nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you know how we used to do it. Yeah, man, I remember. You know, I'm just, I'm trying to find a different way, you know? A different way. There ain't no different way. Everybody is looking for one thing. And you could take the easy way or the hard way. Look, man, I'm just trying to do what's right. There ain't no right thing, man. Everybody is taken from everybody else. Politicians, businessmen. It's a hustle on every level. Mm -hmm. You either take or you get took, yo. Simple as that. This next score is going to set us up for life. I mean, look at you, living with some old woman. You're not a man. Yeah, you gave up your man card, dog. <laughs> <laughs> It's a house over on Center. Old boy they used to slang over there is locked up. He's got a million dollars stashed in the floorboards. A million. It's a four-man job. We going in there with the hotness. Light everybody up. And we rich. I don't know. What you mean you don't know? That's a million dollars split four ways. Let me think about it. Snoopy, I'll get back at you, I promise. Yeah, okay. We're gonna get back at you. Think about it.
Emily, can you pass the bread, please? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Grandma, when can we see my mom? Oh, soon, baby. Soon. Can I have some more chicken? Please. Please what? Ow. Please, may I have some more chicken? Yes, you may. Hey. You don't know how to say thank you? Thank you. Too late, but I bet you'll remember next time. Sit down. Why are you so mean? The world is mean. I'm just trying to teach you. I don't need you to teach me. I have a mom and a... Can I just go to my room now? As soon as you finish what's on your plate? What? I knew that's what you were gonna say. Don't be so mannish. Loretta, see who's at the door. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> So, Isaac, what will we know about your test results? Uh, any day now. Mm, well, don't forget about me when you become a big football star. What are you doing here? I waited as long as I could for you to come home. I'm not coming home. You're not coming home. I need to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Of course there is. Oh, I love you and I miss you. Oh, you, you, you know what? You, everyone misses a good thing when it's gone. How did you even know I was here? Because I knew this would be the only place you'd go. You know what? You need to go. You need to go, seriously. No. I want you to come home with me now. OK, all you children, put the food away and clean the kitchen. I'm going to go up and take my pills. What kind of pills? They're her heart pills, but. Never mind that. Who's at the door? Whoever it is, looks like she doesn't want to see him. That's Uncle Thomas. Her husband? Yeah. Let me make you believe in me again. This is not good. You, let me tell you something. I am doing everything in my power not to hate your guts. That's what listen, I'm doing. Baby, listen, baby, okay, listen. Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. I've been praying. I've been asking God to intervene. I'm just, I'm asking you to forgive me. No, I'm begging you. I'm begging you to no. just please forgive me. Please forgive you? Come on, I mean, you destroy our marriage over somebody? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, Loretta, I promise she didn't mean anything to me. Oh, she didn't? She did nothing. She meant nothing. nothing to you? Nothing. You destroyed our entire marriage over someone that meant nothing to you? Are you joking? You need to, you need to go, you need to go! You need listen, to, you need to get off. Listen, me. just go. Oh, oh, get off of me. Stop it. Oh, Mama Margie, they're fighting. Tell you what you need to do. Either let somebody get, get off her. me. Get off me. Get off me. Go. Get off of me. Whoa. Whoa. Why? Why? Get you need to move. You need to move. You need to move. Loretta, why did you do that to us? Now get in the house. Get in the house. What? Get off of me. Get off of me. Come on, I'm standing right here until you come home. Me. Thomas, I need to talk to you. That was like some real housewife stuff. You're welcome. Can you give me some privacy? I'm just saying. I mean, people living up in here dragging bones around their ankles. Skeletons.
know what it is. Put your hands up. Put them up, man. Calm down. Come on, man. Okay, calm down. Yeah, you it's see right. it? You what see it? it? Put the money in the bag. All right, all right, calm down. Put the money in the bag, man. Now! Yes, I'm doing it. You're gonna have a... Take it too long, homie. There you go. Take it. What? I need your wallet. Hurry up. Take it. I'm sorry, Mama, that I brought this, this chaos to your home. No, and I'm going to leave tonight. Oh, you'll do no such thing. I, I don't know what to do. I don't. I don't. I had a dream once about a rock rolling down a hill. And in the middle of this hill, there was so much trash, beat up cars, just anything you could imagine. But when this rock rolled down, anything that was in his way would just move to the side. Maybe that rock was Jesus. I don't understand. I don't understand. Anything that is unclean has got to get out of his way. Now you have to decide, do you want to cling to the rock or do you want to cling to the trash? If, if my marriage isn't founded on the rock, then it, it won't last. That's right, Jesus is the rock. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. You clean yourself up. You don't clean yourself up. Thank you. Jesus is the rock. Hold on. Hello? It's all right. You're going to be all right. Not this time. Mama, do something for me. What is it, baby? What is it? Pray for me. Oh, God. Dear God, bless now the child. Thy will be done, Lord, right now in this place. Oh, please, can you help him? Can you help him? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 Earl. Hold on, baby. Just hold Uncle Earl never made it to the hospital. The way my grandma handled Uncle Earl's death and funeral was amazing. Her faith in God was so strong. It made me want to be like her. Excuse me? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Grandma. 
Get dressed. You're coming with me for kitchen duty at the church. Just a minute, she gonna take care of you. Hello. I remember when I was afraid of who you were. Didn't understand how your power. You showed me myself and all my work. So now I want to be more. Jesus. Let me tell you about Jesus. Let me tell you about Jesus. Isaac. 
Are you okay? <sighs> yeah, just uh, need some fresh air. God always puts a ram in the bush. And don't stay out in those streets too late. Ain't nothing out there but trouble and consequences. Baby, go on up to the bedroom. I'm gonna come up and wrap your hair. Okay. What was wrong with him? He didn't get into USC. What? A party? I don't think so. No. Yeah, I know. I want to see you too. I miss you. I know. So? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hold on. Yes, ma'am? I know you're not talking on that phone this late. But it's my phone. But this is my house. I have to go. I'm sorry. Bye. The young lady, you are going to have to have more dignity about yourself. That boy's not going to respect you if you don't make him respect you. But, Grandma, why can't I talk to him? That's my boyfriend. I didn't say you couldn't talk to him. But talking to him this late, that ain't nothing but a recipe for sin and disaster. That boy's hormones are already raging, and he's looking at you like you're a piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you about to go to college. You need to be focusing on them books. That is going to be plenty of time for boys later. No, but Grandma, he really does care about me. I can see the devil in that boy's eyes. He's going to lie and maneuver until he gets you to give it up. Grandma, you do not know everything. Like, not everybody's out to get me. I need to be able to be me. Oh, you don't know nothing about being me yet. But you will. You just keep living a little more. Now you go over to bed. And give me that phone. Almighty God! Now you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And if you can't do it, it can't be done. I keep talking to them, Lord. They don't hear me. I don't think they hear me, Lord. Me. What are you doing? Shh. Is she still out there praying? Yes. But what is okay, it? good. So we have about 10 more minutes before she goes to sleep, and then we can sneak out. Sneak out and go where? This party a couple blocks over. Jason's party? Yeah, how do you know about it? My boyfriend's trying to get me to come. So then let's go. No. Are you? No. We'll get in trouble. No. Look. <sighs> Look. Mama Margie prays every night for 15 minutes before she goes to bed. She sleeps like the dead. She didn't even know we're gone. No, I mean, I don't know. No. Oh, I mean, come on. You know you want to go. I do want to see him. OK, then good. Put on something sexy, and let's go. OK. <laughs>
Feeling this. Girl, what? This party is turned up. Hey, what's up, baby? Maybe, huh? What's that? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So you're not gonna introduce me? Um, yeah, Marilyn, this is my boyfriend, Royce. What's up, Marilyn? Mm -hmm. And it's spelled like the state and not the slut. Hey, look, um, let's go to the back room real quick. Mm. Why do you need to go to the back? Let's get some privacy, you know? Just get out of here. Well, I, I can't leave Marilyn like that. Okay. Trust me, Marilyn would be just fine. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, uh, Marilyn, I'll be right back. Okay. You know that boy been sleeping in his car for the last two days. I just don't know what he's trying to prove. Well, obviously, he loves you. If he loved me, he wouldn't have cheated on me. You carrying a whole lot of stones. What does that mean? Jesus said, he who is without sin cast the first stone. And since you're throwing stones, well, I just assume that you were without sin. No, I mean, it's not that simple. It, I honestly don't know if I can forgive him. Well, maybe it's you that don't love him. Maybe. I, I, I do. The more forgiveness you need, the more love you have to have to give it. You know, a lot of people think life is more complicated than it is. How so? Man is born of a few days with much trouble. Life is about how you handle that trouble. How you handle in your trouble, Loretta? I just want to be loved without an asterisk. With well, ask what? Asterisk. You know, plain, simple. <laughs> Baby, you got to give the kind of love you want to get. Thank you. What are you doing? Waiting for you. Why? Because I'm your husband. And I love you. You don't love with words. I know. Your words are poisonous. Creeping, manipulative. I know. Is that all you have to say? I have lots to say. But you're right. My words mean nothing. I'm embarrassed and unworthy of what I'm asking of you. What'd you say to the firm? Just told them I had some uh, family issues to deal with. What about your cases? They can wait. Can't you just go home and wait for me there? No. I messed this up. And I gotta make this right. And sitting at home won't fix that. I don't know how to get past this. I, I don't need that. I just know that I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Whatever 
it takes to make it work. I'm gonna be waiting right here until you're ready for me to take you home. Thomas? Yeah? I was thinking that maybe we should just like go get you a room somewhere. Not unless you're coming with me. I'm in this begging mood. You remember that? So I got you to marry me in the first place. Please, baby, baby, please. Please, baby, baby, please. Here's the finger, here's the finger, please. Hold on. I'm not gonna smile, I'm not. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm here. Let me go talk to Mama. Please, baby, baby, please. Let's come sit down for a little bit. I've been thinking about you so much. You have? Yes, of course. Look, you know how much I care about you, right? Do you now? Yes. Mm. Perfect spot for some pregame activities. Like see up in here. Definitely, man. Which one you gonna knock down, kid? Nah, I'm cool. Hey, bro, you, you good? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm good, bro. Make sure you are, cause I need you ready for the night. Yeah, man, we setting it off tonight. Yo, I said I'm good. <laughs> you are so beautiful. Uh, I know. <laughs> Royce, why did you want us to come back here so badly? Look, I just want to spend some quality time together, baby. Do you, you know, think I'm stupid? You're trying to have sex with me. Babe, what's wrong with that? Wait, 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 hold on. Why are you tripping? Do you really want to see what happens next? It's not going to be what you're thinking. It's all right. Just got a text. Ooh, yo, my boy just told me he got a little freak in the back and he about to set it off. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, I'm not, I'm not with that, man. Yo, let's go get a drink, man. Yeah, come on, dude. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Where's Marilyn? Wait, Marilyn's here? Yeah. Yo, why'd you leave? Hey, man, chill. At my house? Dude, I had to get Marilyn back home. She's like my family. I dig that. Well, I mean, we like your family too, right? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, of course. Good. 
So let's get it. Yeah, man. It's time to get that money, homie. Look, man, I'm not with that anymore. What you mean? I mean, I'm not doing the job. Oh, man, I knew this cat was gonna punk out, yo. Hold on. I mean, you saying that as if you have a choice. Yeah, I do have a choice. And I just made it. I, I, I can't keep ruining my life with stupid decisions. Now you're gonna do the job, because I own you and you owe me. All right? Like I said, we fam. Blood in, blood out. So if you want out, it's only one way. So what it's gonna be? Are you in or you out? He's out! Mama Maji, Mama, I, I got this. I can handle it, Mama Maji. Yeah, this ain't none of your business. Well, I'm making it my business. And I would appreciate it if you would get off my property. I'll leave. But he's coming with me. Oh, no, he's not. He doesn't belong to you. He's a child of God, and you can't have him. Look, old lady, I'm trying to be nice. But if you don't limp your little old girl back in that house, hey, you'll have to do you something. Check yourself, Wait, right? What? Oh, you go what, baby? Huh? You don't have no power over me. And I command you and these demons to get out of my yard in the name of Jesus. A demon, huh? OK. Now I'm going to act like one. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure that this is what you want to do? What's up? To do this? Baby, God's got better for you. He's got more for you. Ain't no God. All right. Then you go ahead and you just pull that trigger. See what not believing in God is going to get you while you right away in jail. Go ahead, son. Go ahead. You can kill my body, but you can't touch our souls. Yo, man. Man, I don't know if I'm down for, for killing the old lady, man. Man, shut up! I know where my soul is going. Do you? Huh? Do you know for sure? Come on, child. Son, make a decision. More money for us. Let's get out of here. Can't believe me. <laughs> Mama Maji, Mama Maji, are you okay? I'm fine. I don't know. It seemed like I just lost my breath. Come on, help me in the house. Oh. Mama Maji, are you okay? I'm all right. To show my gratitude, what can I do to show you I love you? Take my life, I'm yours. I just want to give you more. Have you seen Isaac? No. You can go peel those potatoes. Okay. Look, I'm sorry about last night. It's okay. Okay, I shouldn't have left you. I feel really bad about it. I shouldn't have been there. Isaac didn't come in when he did. Mama Margie's right. Now, I 
gotta get it together. That's not the woman that I want to be. I need to be a better mother to Chloe. We have a surprise for you. What? What is it? Oh, 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 oh my God! I prayed so hard for you to come back, Mom. I prayed too, baby. Look at you. Uh, is it? Is it over? It's over. Okay, I am done. I am uh -huh. clean, and I am never going back to that life. Oh my God! Oh, my baby. So much. I love you, baby. Uh, hey, where's Mama Margie? Isn't she at church? Uh, no, she got sick last night and said she didn't want to be bothered. She's not upstairs. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Mama? 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 Mama, what's wrong? Mama? Mama, you okay? Mama? Mama, just hold on. I'm ready to go. Oh, my Lord. What is it, Mama? What do you mean, Mama? I said, call 911! No, you're not, Mama. No, you're not. You're not going nowhere. I'm sorry. For so long. And you both, Loretta, I, I couldn't be more proud. I'm, I'm sorry. The ambulance will be here any second. Mm. Make me laugh. Mm. My grandmother died that day. I don't know if my words brought her peace, but they did that for me. The same day I get my mother back, I lose my grandmother. My mother said she wanted me to speak at my grandmother's funeral, but I don't know what to say. I stand here today, touched by an angel, a woman whose light could not be dimmed by pain, tragedy, or despair. She was the cornerstone of her community, and her family, and she believed in living right and helping people. 
She was one of the most giving souls I've ever met. That was my grandma. And even though I told her, I love you, you're special, I never said it enough. I never showed it enough. The phrase, give me my flowers while I can still smell them, rings in my mind. But in saying that, every grandma is someone special. Not only do they raise their children, but they pass down wisdom to their children's children. Looking out into the crowd gathered here, I see so many lives that my grandmother Margie touched and blessed. I miss you, Grandma. The nights that are spent praying for us, interceding, giving the last of themselves, it is breathtaking. They do what only a grandmother can. Grandmothers today still want to be cool, they want to date. But I thank God for those grandmothers that have imparted such importance to us by giving of themselves and looking for nothing in return. That was my grandmother. And yes, I'm sad to see her go, but I know she would want us to celebrate her life and not mourn her death. But when this earthly vessel passes away, there's another building not made by hand. Uh, can I help you? Isaac? Isaac Mitchell? Yeah. Hey, I'm Coach Scott. I want to talk to you about coming to play for the Badgers, son. Uh, come, come on in. Come on in, son. You sure? Yeah. OK. Yeah. All right. Well, nice, nice, nice uh, to meet Scott, you, too. Coach yeah? Scott? Yeah, yeah. And I know her spirit will live in me forever.
deep within me something's changed and all i want to do is say thank you i want to give you more but i'm feeling so unsure oh god i feel so unworthy 